Hey now, welcome to Freedom Sufferer Cards video number 64. And today, we have some mail to go through. Been waiting for some of this for quite a while, so we shall see what it is. But before we start, I would like to give out a couple of shoutouts. It's been a while. Because I had some catching up to do. Sometimes shoutouts take a little bit longer because I gotta give them a proper shoutout, you know. So the first one is Sylvainster30. I will leave his information in the video description. Really cool guy, as you know, like the rest of them. Does all kinds of cool hockey breaks and mail days. You should really check him out. He's only at 66 subscribers, so let's try and get this man to 100 ASAP. He would really appreciate that, so would I and the rest of the community. And second shout-out, we've given a shout-out to him before, but this guy's deserving for another shout-out. B-Mac Breaks. Return of the Mac, that tune was written about this guy, man. This guy is seriously pulling fire with all of the group breaks he does. Primarily baseball. Does some football. Does all kinds of things actually, but this dude, if you're, who knows, a little hesitant and you want to watch one of his breaks and see what this guy pulls, check out his link in my description. You will not be disappointed. All kinds of SPs, SSPs, SSSPs, I said. Check this man out. Believe me, especially if you're a baseball fan, this is the dude to start breaks with. So, now, let us start with, who knows what we shall start with. Let's just grab ourselves a package here. And see what we got. This one is from Austria. Two cards. Manny Ramirez, rookie. Looks to be wonderfully cut. I get this man out. Most of you know him from his time with the Red Sox. But you see, he started off as an Indian. Cleveland Indians. Manny Ramirez, very sharp, very nice. Upper deck rookie. I love it. Way better than I expected and looks very well centered. And the other card. Speaking of well-centered and beautiful-looking cards, Brett Favre rookie, upper deck. I'm not lucky enough to get these guys graded, but if this guy was graded, he would probably be at least a 9. PGS 9.5. Man, so nice. Brett Favre. Alright, alright, alright. So we start with a little baseball and football, very nice. And now, we move ahead. What do we got here? Oh, I think I know what this is. Very well protected, looks like there's some fruity pebbles. Protected it with some fruity pebbles, man. All right, from Germany. These are all local except for one. Oh, oh yeah, oh yeah, macho madness, yeah, beautiful, I love it, look at this sticker, oh, oh, yeah. all right, we have to lay you out on display on top of the hot doggin, keeping an eye on us, Thank you very much, Mr. Randy. Feel much safer now, gotta tell, gotta tell you that. Now we shall move ahead. 
Again, Germany. If you are looking for more NHL cards, feel free to contact me at mark at surid.de Deutschland. He seems to have packed it in this. This is just a couple of cards. Okay, let us see what this is. I, of course, know what this is, but I always love these repackaging. Oh, man, these look clean. We're going to 1982-83 here with a Wayne Gretzky OPG. Look at the surface, look at the corners, look at the centering. Ah, Sid! Oh man, there you go. You got the leaders right there. First place with Gretzky, 80, 80 games, nothing but 196 points. Down! Mark Messier, the second closest. Look, look, on the Oilers, 106 points. They had four guys at 100 plus points and one guy almost at 100 points. That's almost five 100 point players. Unheard of, ridiculous. Wayne Gretzky. Oh. Man, beautiful shape. And this one. Not as well centered, but look at the surface. Look at the corners. Wayne Gretzky, record breaker, OPG. I said. Who would like to pause that to read that? Be my guest. If you do not speak English, there's the French. All right, all right, all right, man! What a sh what shape of this card! You'd never think Germany, Austria, Switzerland. Yep, that's where I get most of what I get. All right. So now this is a start. We got Gretzky, we got Favre, we got Manny Ramirez, we got Macho Madness. What could possibly be next? What do we got here? Oh yeah. All right. Switzerland. Looks like. Oh yeah. Boiling, boiling. Shaquille O'Neal, classic. Some kind of, well, the top loader's got some jazz on it, but that is just the top loader. Don't call me a lawyer, macho. It's all right, trust me. Beautiful. One of those classic cards from those semi-limited sets. They're starting to go and fly off the shelves. All right. Ooh, yes. Looks like we have Mr. Raptor here. Vince Carter laying it down! Yeah. Some guy failing at blocking that. Like most at that time, Carter would just fly through the air. Nice Fleer. Nice. Vince Carter card. It's not a true rookie, but it's close. Mystique. Look at the mystique on him. Down! At least these are in top loaders. The other one was in a card saver, and the Gretzkys were in a pack, but it was still protected very well. And who do we got here? Traded to the Spurs at this time, Dennis Rodman, 1993-94 Fleer Ultra. We've got a bit of everything so far, all kinds of variety. This man... You want to call him that? It's a bit of a strange one, but always entertaining. And when he was on the court, his defense could not be denied. Say what you will, off the court, he was something else, but on the court, down. Everybody that tried to dunk on this man had the ball smacked right down. All right, and I said, Michael Jordan, NBA Hoops, looks like a beautiful card again. Look at the centering. Gotta tell you, this is one of the best 
mail days I've had. Definitely on very affordable bids. Extremely affordable. I have a very, very tight budget. I do not spend much. Most of what you see is like a win or a random act of kindness or very, very cheap bids because it's just, that's all I could do. But sometimes you get lucky and find something like this. Unreal, unreal, very happy with that. All right, let us move ahead. What do we got next? Oh man, looks like we have ourselves a couple of magic cards. Which ones can they be, you ask? The Kraken. Shipbreaker Kraken. I'm a big Kraken fan in general, as I've mentioned a couple of times. I've written songs about the Kraken. I'm in the middle of trying to secure a cla original Clash of the Titans Kraken from a Dutch site. Mark Platz, it's called. Look at the foil! Foil! Look, guy on the ship. These guys are being destroyed, one by one, limb by limb, the Kraken claims his prize. Alright, Shipbreaker Kraken. What is this? The deer Kraken. Look at those teeth! Down bolts! They're all just going to their inevitable death. Look at those tentacles doing their thing, spreading fear, destroying the boats. Ah! Ah! That's right, I said. Kraken's in the house. And we have this, this. I had given up on this. I'm telling you, this was about seven, eight months. I got a refund for this already. A long time ago, it never arrived. I let the dude know I finally got it. You see that right there? Dana White, for those of you familiar with the UFC, he is the pretty much the godfather of the UFC. Let's do a slow roll here. Oh man. What a mail day. How much greatness. He's got the title. Did he fight for it? No, but you could bet it's his. Look at that. Very simple autograph from Dana. A little disappointed in you, my man. But there it is. Dana White autograph has finally made its way. Extremely happy with that. And last, we have received our first ever cover that information up. First ever redemption. So for those of you wondering, yes, they do send redemptions to the Netherlands. Oh man. This was the one I thought was Maxime Mamin, but it is Riley Stillman, rookie, number to 999. There you have the upper deck, authentic sticker on it. I wish it was Brady Keeper. Any reason to get that Brady Keeper tune on there. Especially for you, Silver. I know you love that tune. There you go. Riley Stillman. Redemption. So, that was a bit of everything now, wasn't it? Very fun mail day. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Please, like this video. If you haven't yet, please subscribe. Leave a comment. Love talking to you guys. Appreciate it very much. Appreciate all the support. Check out those shoutouts from earlier. They would appreciate it as well. What we have coming up next, I'd like to save as a little bit of a surprise. And for those of you asking about that Star Trek, don't worry. Mid-March, I will finally break into Series 1. Those are 36 packs, so probably going to be two parts per box. Maybe, 
maybe even three, who knows, maybe four, because I'm not going to zip through them, I've never seen these cards, I'm going to want to take my time, so uh, I'll let you know when that will happen, but around mid-March, now, that is everything, take good care of yourselves, stay safe out there, and I'll see you guys soon, real soon.